Hey guys, just wanted to show you quick my best and favorite way of cleaning your motorcycle visor shield or windshield, whatever you want to call that thing, I forget. Anyway, uh, they're obviously can be very expensive, so you want to take care of them and not scratch them. And the better your view, the safer you are. So this is my tinted one off of my Arai XD4. And I had the clear one on yesterday, which I forgot to switch into the tinted, left home without it. But anyway... They get full of bugs, as my clear one is right now. It's usually best to clean them right away, but and I try to do that, but often don't when you're tired. So what I like to do is soak it with a wet paper towel or some tissues or whatever you want that'll keep the moisture on there. So I usually use a warm water if possible, if you want, and just put a paper towel on it and soak it because you're going to have all these dead bugs on there and bug guts. And then you just let it sit. This way you're not putting a lot of force into that soft plastic. Not soft, but it's a plastic, obviously, and you can scratch it easily. So I just leave it like that and let it sit. And so after it sit, maybe 10 or 15 minutes or something, forget about it for a while. You, you Sometimes I even come back and I'll just re-wet it and get rid of the bubbles. Just re-wet it. And then I will peel it off after it's soaked. I already did this one, but I'm just showing you what I do. And then I will use just your basic Dawn dish detergent, which is right here. I pump out a little bit of that, rub it around, and just use your skin. And you can feel the bug bumps and the bug guts and the goo. And um, I rub it both sides gently and soften up that stuff with the Dawn after it's already soaked with the water for 10 or 15 minutes on the paper towel, under the paper towel or tissues, whatever you have. And then um, it comes off fairly easily and it comes as crystal clear as you can possibly get it. And my favorite way to clean these things, including my sunglasses or eyeglasses, is always using the best all-cotton t-shirt that you have, 100% cotton. I mean, it's hard to get that stuff anymore, but I have my favorite Wet Life t-shirts, which I'll show you. I have it on, but I'll show you the cotton. <laughs> these things, I always use them when they're fresh out of laundry. They're hanging in my closet, just washed. I never use a used one because it has skin oils on it or what have you. And I, on glasses, I just dab it. On these, I'll just, I, sometimes I, if it's fresh out of the closet, I'll roll it on my stomach and dry it. But I'll just go right to my closet, actually, and dry them with the t-shirts hanging in the closet because they're clean. And it's just clean water, so it doesn't matter. But that's the pretty much the best way you can take care of these things is soak them without rubbing. Paper towels and paper, as you know, have fibers and they can cause scratches, so I don't do any rubbing. I just set set it and let it soak. It's just a way to hold the water on there to soften those bug guts. And then, uh, again, with a 100% cotton t-shirt or something, I dry them off. That works really well. Hope that helps you guys. Um, I, I have some plastic polishes and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll use it. I'll use, um, I forget the name of it, it's that uh, Plexus. Plexus plastic polish. I'll use that sometimes. Sometimes it can be a little oily, so you have to have the right rag to clean it off. But it also helps the bugs from sticking quite as aggressively, and so they're easy to clean down the road. Well, I hope that helps you guys. Take care. I appreciate any likes and subscribes.